Caesar, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> you know what's going on over here? <laughs> I said, "That's my face, <laughs> bro." Are, are we are we facing people walking dead, man? Absolutely, every single day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you, you know you know what else we find people doing? We find people going through some noise, man. Woo! Everything, people think it's, everything's black and white. It's a noise. You know the sad part is that negative noise gets more noise than the positive noise. How do you feel about that, bro? It's nothing but the truth. Yep. So this is us, my man Caesar. Garcia and I, we're here on the south side of Chicago. Many people call this Chirac, but guess what we're doing in our Mercedes-Benz Mila Miglia? Running appointments. Running appointments, making things happen, spreading a message of financial hope, and how to steps and what to do. Actually, we're right here. Where, where, should I show them this place, bro? Right. Where, where, where are we in front of? In an Ace Hardware. I don't think we, our car belongs out here. We might get pulled over, man, so I think we should start going. Start going? Cool. Yeah. Well, guys, you know, oftentimes when we uh, are interacting with the public, we got invited to speak at uh, Dr. Street or something. He's got a PhD in education. And oftentimes people are led to believe a certain line of thinking about money, about entrepreneurship, about associations, about companies. And we're asked, well, where'd you hear that from? Well, so-and-so and so-and-so told me so. And our response to them is, if you thought you were doing something right, but later you found it was wrong, when would you want to know? And what did they say? They said, now. Yeah, they want to do something about it now. Better question, are you willing to do something about it? Because otherwise, you're being manipulated. You're being manipulated by people that don't know. They heard from somebody else. They heard from somebody else. Heard from somebody else. At the same time, the media is manipulating. That people are believing a false truth. And boy, have we seen that a lot. And so today, we're going to have a conversation on how you can't avoid being manipulated but we got to get out of here otherwise we're gonna get pulled over but sees would you help me do the duties i'll be the mexican holder you'll be the mexican holder cool man so uh you, you, let, you let me know man if people, uh, people are commenting so we can give them a shout out so so number one the scenario is if you want the best out of life you cannot be manipulated you've got to know the truth because the truth will set you free yeah baby and so when you guys are in your process of building your dreams your goals your hopes now, listen, this is what I love about PHP Agency. We don't just tell you what to do. We show you what to do. We're side by side with you every day. Listen, I am the number one income earner of this company called PHP Agency. My wife and I, we make seven figures a year. We train, we coach, we lead, we teach. We're in the trenches with our people, right, Zs? Absolutely. He's right here with me. So, you know, I mean, you figure out whether or not you're doing something for the money at about the uh, $300,000 a year mark. Why do I say that? Does he figure out whether or not at that income level, whether or not you're doing it for the money? Because at that point, you start elevating to a certain financial reality, asking yourself, do I really want to do what, I do, what I'm doing right now to make more money, or am I just cool and chill at 250, 300,000, 350,000 a year? You'll find that out at 300,000, but you won't find that out at 50,000. You won't find that out at 100,000. You won't find that at 150,000. Why? Because that is income level of what we call survivability, right? And so people say, well, I'm good. I'm, I'm satisfied. Really? Are you happy where you live? Are you happy with the things that you have, the quality of life? Not that things are everything, but are you happy with the quality of life? I'll give you an example. Um, we, just left a, uh, uh, we just left an appointment where there's a death in the family, and they're asking around. They had, a, they had a head out of state, right? Yeah. They had a head out of state, and finding the money to travel out of state because of a family death was hard to come by. Hmm. And you know how they felt? How they feel, bro? They felt uh, devastated, like they were lost. It sounded like a church. Everybody said, mmm. Right? They are making life decisions at a gas station of whether or not they had enough money to put in the gas tank or they had money to eat later on. I mean, think about that. You have a tragedy in your family. How many of you have heard of somebody deal with a family tragedy, financial tragedy, and then have the financial resource to provide for themselves? So, to how, to how to avoid all that, and here's the, here's the truth. It says, Matt, I didn't realize that the way I've been thinking for 20 years of my life as a teacher, as a person with a master's degree, as a person with a PhD, 
I'm realizing that all along I've been fed this false truth about financial freedom and financial security. I didn't realize I was the walking dead. I didn't realize that I'd be in a financial bind in my, in my, in my late 30s and 40s without having the money I was expecting to have by dedicating myself to a certain pattern of belief that I thought was right. I spent 20 years of finding it out and my $100,000 of that finding out. Do you want to be in that position? Do you want to be in that situation where you got to ask around people and families to help you in your financial situation? Listen, life changes based on what you do on evenings and weekends. Why do you think I'm out here in the field? I mean, my wife and I were making seven figures a year. You know, you know why we're here on evenings and weekends, crusading a financial message of hope, of crusading a message of capitalism, of free enterprise, because we're free to do this. We love to do this. And guess what? We want to teach others how to do the same. So, see, we're thinking about three things that we can help people and give value. And by the way, if you're logging in right now, you're tuned in to the Mighty Smart Guy Facebook live stream. And, and you want to introduce yourself, Cesar? Cesar Garcia on Facebook at Cesar Garcia Granados. And uh, Cesar's been, uh, been under our wing learning this business, learning this craft. Bro, tell, before I jump into the tips, tell me a little bit about your story. Why did you decide to get involved in entrepreneurship at such a young age? Well, I was working at Advanced Auto Parts and um, I wanted to become a district manager. I asked the district manager for a position to get promoted. He laughed at me, said, I'll give you 10 years of experience and I'll think about uh, promoting you. We'll see where you're at then. <laughs> I don't have 10 years to wait. My parents were getting divorced. I had to come up with the money to pay for, you know, help out my parents, help out my mom to pay the stuff. And I didn't have any time for that. So uh, that's why I decided to take control into my own hands. And sometimes, guys, you think manipulation is external. Sometimes manipulation comes internal, based on your self-talk, based on the things you're telling yourself. Like you manipulate yourself into average and ordinary. By the way, that's the topic of our vlog tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Every Sunday morning we launch our vlog. Tomorrow's topic is about not living an average and ordinary life. Now, you can be average and ordinary just like Caesar and I. There's nothing special about us. There's nothing talented about us. There's nothing pedigreed about it. There's, nothing, there's no wealth we've inherited. We're average and ordinary kids that was raised in average and ordinary neighborhoods. But guess what we're on the path of doing? Living an extraordinary life. Is that you today? And by the way, before I continue, man, do, I, do we need to give anybody else some, some shout outs? Who's dropping comments, man? Yeah. Who, who do you need to show some love? Monique Welch. Monique Welch from Atlanta. What's going on, Monique? We got uh, Leslie Taylor on. on hey, Les. Who else? We got uh, Tina PR Parcel. Tina, what's going on, Tina? Whoa. John Lange. John Lange, what's going on, Devil Dog? Andre Jackson. Andreas, what's going on, Andreas? Sue and John Duran. Hey, John and Sue. We got Omi on here. Omi. Edgar Diaz. Edgar, San Jose in the house. Romanus. Romanus. Romanus, what's going Romanus. on, man? Good. We got Kellen DePaula. Kaylin DePaula. Sounds like my last name, Sapala. Deanne Marcos. Chris cool. Hoffman. Awesome, guys. Hey, big shout outs to you guys. Obviously, I'm doing my very best to be safe, so therefore, you guys don't give me heat. That's why Caesar is holding the camera. By the way, there's almost an accident about to happen in front of us, and a guy just pulled out in front. Right? And that's what you got to do, man. Make sure you avoid being manipulated. Because here's the reality, guys there's a, there's a truth out there, and there's a manipulated truth. Oftentimes, the manipulated truth, the National Enquirer, you know, was that interesting minds want to know, inquiring minds want to know, they're more, gra they gravitate more towards drama. They gravitate more towards the, 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 like the TMZs of the world, like, ooh, ah, gossip, versus knowing the actual truth. And by the way, whatever you attract yourself towards, guess what that says about you? Like, man, you drawn into gossip, so what does that say about you? Either you're passing gossip or somebody's gossiping about you. So how do you know the truth? How do you avoid being manipulated? So number one, if you know some truth, is some people told you about a certain strategy, about how to have a, uh, live a certain life, about how to get ahead financially, about how to start a business. Guess what you gotta do? Tip number one, you gotta verify. You gotta verify what they tell you. Yes, trust them because you're related to them. Trust them because you're part of the same community trust them because you're probably the same Facebook group but you got to verify 
Because here's what I realized, that there's a lot of people out there that want to say such negative things to you, that they want to say such negative things to you to uh, manipulate you to actually finding out the truth. Because the truth will set you free. free. So you got to trust people, but you got to verify. Second thing, you got to be a student. Well, man, I was told to put my money here. Man, I was told to, to start a business this. I, I was told to do this with my website. I was told this to do with my brand. I was told to do this with this association, this relationship. Okay, but have you studied it? So you verified it, but did you study it? Did you study the best practices? You know, oftentimes in our industry, people wonder, hey, man, are you guys for real? Is PHP agency for real? Man, I don't believe the fact that you and your wife in three years went from zero to $200,000 income your first year to $646,000 your second year to making a million dollars in three years. I don't, I, don't, I don't believe you guys. I don't believe that Oscar De La Hoya, after uh, seven, eight years of being in business, that we're able to attract an investor that decided to put $10 million into our company. Right? Yeah, well, trust, but verify, be a student of business. Man, I can't believe that there's a certain way of doing business in today's modern era that you don't need to do certain things because somebody that they had done this 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago are still following their old ways of doing things and has failed to innovate, has failed to grow. And guess what? Their lack of confidence in themselves manipulates you in their, in their conversation coaching to you so you don't beat them. Listen, guys, there's nothing more that, that I want. There's not, nothing more that our company wants. It's to see people succeed. It's to see people win, even if they're not in business with us. I don't care. I want them to see them in business. I want to see them succeed by following principles, by following concepts, by seeing time-tested truth, by, by following certain proverbs, right, and key, key, key strategies that has transcended the test of time. We're leaving on the south side of Chicago and so many businesses aren't even around. There's no thriving community. Why? Because entrepreneurship hasn't been injected into that community for a while. Because somebody manipulated them thinking that business was bad. Somebody manipulated them to them thinking that, you know what, spend your money now, YOLO baby, you only live once. Nah. I believe in creating generational wealth. I believe in making decisions today in 2018 that'll make a significant impact into my kids my kids kids and my kids 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 like I do this video right now in 2018 it's expectation that my kids in 2038 will listen to this do you are you a student of the business see there's a difference between knowing following somebody that knows but there's also a difference between following somebody that knows and does does that make sense? Does that make sense, bro? Yes, it does. Like, oftentimes, bro, how many times have you seen people say, you know what, I've studied this, i studied that, I'm studying this, I'm studying that, but I've never done. But you should believe me. I know everything. So what have you found, Caesar? the people that know things versus the people that know and do? Um, so I found that with there's somebody that I met with a while back, and uh, I'm not going to say no names or company names or nothing like that, but he was questioning how many million-dollar earners are in PHP, <laughs> right? He goes like, you guys been around for how long? You guys only have $1 million earner. And I just happened to be here with him, <laughs> right? And the other guy in the other company is like, oh, in, we- In we, the field, in the trenches, baby. Yep. In the grind, in the hustle. Yep. Not just driving on a pretty car for the sake of driving on a pretty car. We're using this today as a tax deduction. Yep. <laughs> then the other guy said that they have hundreds of people making a million dollars. They've been around for over 30 years okay awesome when was at what year did you guys get your first million dollar earner he didn't even know how to reply back to me he didn't even know the answer and you know what i said well i do he's right here with me <laughs> and i know when he hit it so i suggest you you know what you're talking about and um i think it'll make you a stronger person and um have the right tools because oftentimes people jump company to company, opportunity to opportunity, career to career, major to major, right? Financial opportunity to financial opportunity. And guess what happens over the next three, four, five years? Nothing. By the way, guess who's manipulating them? Themselves. You're manipulating yourselves in thinking that something's going to change for you externally 
So therefore you can change internally. But well, actually it's the other way around. You've got to change internally. You've got to stop manipulating yourself, thinking that not making phone calls, not getting out in the grind, not getting out and doing the dirty dirty is going to make you successful. I mean, whoever told you that? The last time I checked, the only time success comes before work is in a dictionary. And guess what? The path to success ain't no elevator. You got to take the stairs. And sadly, in this era, there's very few people preaching a message of hard work, tough work over an extended period of time. Like they don't believe that my wife and I have achieved what we have achieved in such a short period of time. And they call us uh, a bum or they call us whatever reason. Hey, we bust our, app. by the way, Caesar, no bias. I know we work together, but do you see my wife and I working our business every day? Every single day. I think this is normal. Most people think that this, uh, to me, this is normal. If anything, I'm not at a million dollars yet. And I'm like, what the hell am I doing? You know, to other people, it's like, it's, it's, I can't believe it. It can't be done in three years. Well, I seen it happen. I was here when it was only at 50,000. <laughs> and I seen all the way to a million dollars. So it's believable. I was here. I proof. Because you know why, guys? I don't want to manipulate myself to my own limiting beliefs. I want to, I want to manipulate myself to a freedom of anything is possible, assuming you're willing to do the work, you're willing to verify and assess where you're at today, you're willing to be a student of your industry, and you're willing to execute a certain game plan, regardless if you fail or not. Because along the way, you're gonna learn. Along the way, you're gonna learn better techniques, strategies, you're gonna find your message, you're gonna find your, your passions, you're gonna find what you gravitate towards. Because there's a guy today at a workshop, he watches every one of our videos, watches every one of our mentors' videos, uh, Patrick but David's videos of uh, value, Tim, watches all of them. And I asked him a very simple question. Bro, where are your results? Well, I can't make time because you know my wife and I, this and this and that, we don't have any time for our business. Well, how do you expect for your business to grow? How do you expect to speak a different financial language if you never spent more than 80, 90% of your time learning it? The reason why people learn a language not in classrooms but rather immersing themselves in the country of which that language is spoken. For example, do you learn Spanish in a classroom over a three, four year period of, of studying one hour a day, advanced placement in that foreign language? Or would you rather learn that language being parachuted into Panama or Costa Rica where all they speak is Spanish? What's more effective, four years, one hour a day? Or 30 days immersed into the environment, whether you live or breathe or eat, depends on your ability to speak that language. Stop manipulating yourselves to limit thinking. Last but not least, you got to understand that proof is always in the pudding. You want, you want to listen to a certain fact? You want to listen to a certain opinion? Well, the proof is always in the pudding. People will always say certain things to you that will make you create doubt, especially preaching a game of not working hard. I just spent the last 30 days and I made this. Well, did you work hard? Did you bust your tail? Well, not really. Are you sure you're making the money? Show me your statements. Show me your money. Show me your direct deposits. Because here, here's what doesn't lie. Numbers, direct deposits, production numbers, those don't lie. What's your results? And quite frankly, a lot of people have a lot of opinions when they think they know something and they're only making 200,000 a year and they're the only ones doing it. Yeah, I'm proud to say, yeah, my wife and I make money. But you, also, you know what else I'm proud to say? That I've got a bunch of people making $50,000 a year, left their job, and control is in their hands. I'm also very proud to say there's a bunch of people making $100,000 a year. I'm very proud to say that there's many people making around me that are $200,000 that we personally coach and mentor. In fact, you want to know a fact? 2017, I paid our guys that we've coached and mentored over $3.2 million. That's a fact. And I'd be willing to share those numbers and be open and transparent with you guys, no problem. So you gotta know your numbers, you gotta know your facts. Sometimes people tell you negative truths to keep you from talking to the people that you really need to be talking to. Like one guy came to me, came to my workshop, he says, Matt, there's so many people talking negative about business, about finance, about saving and investing, about entrepreneurship. And I said, said well, did you experience that at our office? As a matter of fact, Matt, they said negative things about you. Well, did you experience that at our office? He says, no. So did you unveil the truth? Yeah, he couldn't believe he was being manipulated. Because here's, here's the reason why. 
Because proof is always in the pudding. The fruits of your labor will always show up. Right? If you hang around, if you hang around a group of people and everybody's still trying to figure it out and everybody's still still broke, you got to ask them, well, who are you hanging around with to hang around with? That's the real story. So, like, Caesar, you, you, you've been with me, what, how, how many years now? Like two and a half, three years? Two and a half. Have you seen people jump from opportunity to opportunity, strategy to strategy, thinking between thinking? And, and if so, how far has that gotten them? I've seen that happen multiple times, especially at the office. Uh, even some people that work with me, it, it hasn't got them anywhere. They're still stuck in the same place. Um, you pick one thing, and regardless if you have ups or downs, regardless of what it is, you stick with it. Um, and one thing that I learned is that I had a lot of downs, I had a lot of ups, but you got to learn to be consistent because when you're consistent, you'll stick to it. And um, if you're not, then you'll quit thinking that the company was the issue, but really it was you the whole time. So it's like I came from a different office when I met Matt and I thought the office was the issue when it wasn't really Matt. I mean, well, it wasn't Matt. It wasn't the other office. And it was really me internally that had, I had the issue and I found that out down the line as Matt started exposing the truth of who I was. So once I figured out who I was, I was like, well, it's, it wasn't the other office's fault. Well, maybe a little bit, but um, it was really more, it was me. Um, and then once I went over to with Matt, I realized I changed, I stuck through it, and I'm still here making things happen, changing. Now my little brother say, hey, I want to, my, I want to own my own business like you. I want to be like you. Nice. He goes like, you're the one that made my mom get the salon. I see what you're doing. You nice. changed her way of thinking. It was like, now I want to own my own business. So that from what I've seen is the people, if they keep quitting and jumping from one company to another because that's going to be a, uh, the next best thing, um, all that's going to do is is nothing. They're not going to have no results over there because they didn't have any results at, the pre, at their previous company. So uh, that's right, the man in the mirror. Studs will always be studs, man. Yep. No matter what jersey they're wearing. You know, lots of times people come to me. I have to avoid being manipulated because people always tell me, they leave me voicemails, they leave me emails. Matt, I want to come work with you. Matt, I want to come work with you. Great, what's your track record? The one guy told me, man, I, I've bounced jobs every two months. I'm like, how old are you? 29. How long have you been working? Since I was 16. So you're telling me every two months you found a new job? He's like, yeah. So why would I ever want to think about working together with you? Why? Well, well, because I'm a good people. Well, how do you know, how do how do that how do you know that? And he always said, "Well, it always ne it, it never. Well, I go there and it doesn't work out. I go there, it doesn't work out. I go there. Really, bro? Twelve years of your big life, your man up life, you can't keep a, seem to keep a job for more than two months. Come on. And, and and I said, so what do you want to be when you grow up? As if you're not growing up already. Because man, I want to be a trillionaire. Be a trillionaire. Trillionaire." Not that I'm laughing at your dreams, because I'm just laughing, laughing at the fact that you have zero work ethic. And so I said, let me ask you a quick question. What's that? How many zeros in a trillion? Uh, uh, you don't even know. And if you don't know, guess what you're not going to hit? Trillion. Not going to hit a trillion. Bro, you're not going to hit a billion. Man, you're not even hit a million. Bro, if you don't know the numbers, you're not going to hit 100,000. So get yourself out of La La Land. Stop self-manipulating yourself into a truth that is never going to happen. Get real with yourself. Verify your certain situation. Verify your current situation. Be a student of a industry that will help you make a lot of money. And number three, surround yourself with people that have proof in the pudding. Because that's proof. When people when people doubt what I do, what we do, I just introduce them to other people. Introduce them to other people. Introduce them to other people. Right? Did all the social media trolls and fake profiles uh, manipulate you from thinking that we were doing something good in America because we're uplifting the average and ordinary person to make extra ordinary income? Did they manipulate you? Did you come in and verify that it was all bullshit? Yes. Great. I'm just glad you verify and invested some time to find out. Yes. What's your next step? Man, forget all this BS. I'm going business with you guys. That it's happened to us over and over and over. And it's sad that more negative news gets more traction than the positive news. Just don't be manipulated. So, with that being said, any comments that we need to address for anybody that's giving us a shout out on this thing? Uh, 
questions, good questions. By the way, if you if you thought you were being manipulated, go ahead and share this with your, your timeline. Go ahead and share this with any groups. Because here's the one thing I love about gossip. I learned so much things about myself I never even knew about. <laughs> the truth hurts, but we're learning. Yeah. And by the way, guys, as you elevate, more people are going to talk about you to try to manipulate you. Don't buy into it. Because you're reminding them of what they should be doing, but they're too egotistical to make any changes, and they're more comfortable with you where they're at, where they feel that you're comfortable at, not comfortable with you getting to where you want to go. And it's all about you guys. Because one thing we want to breed, guys, is independent thinkers. Don't trust what I say. Verify what I say. Back it up with studying that you're doing on your own, be a student of business, and you'll find out the, the fruit that we're putting out. What type of fruit are you putting out? What type of fruit are those manipulators putting out to as well? Because you know what? Here's what I know about manipulators. Manipulators love hanging around the other manipulators. Any, any comments we need to address? No questions, though. No. Well, no questions. Any comments? comments no. Leslie said uh, there was a few millionaires at Toys R Us, and look what happened to them. <laughs> Amen. That's true. She right? was talking about the other guy from the other company. Oh, really? No kidding. That person. Cool. Any other comments? Ain't no way I'd want to work with a person like that every two months. Yep, that's true. I, I like working with people that has a track record of success. Like, if somebody comes to me and says, man, I want to work with you, one of the questions I'm asking him, what's, your, what's, your, what's a track record of success? Give me a track record of success. Show me that you've been part of the choir for your church for a year, that you've been committed. Show me that you've held a job. You start off as a janitor, worked your way up to, to, to host, to server, but you stay committed. Because everybody wants some instant success today. It just doesn't happen. But here's, here's the thing. You know what I can't teach? I can't teach character. I can teach you skill, but I can't teach you character. And does that mean that, you, that you're never going to be in a position where your character isn't challenged? Of course, more so, I gravitate to those people who have their character questioned. Like right now, Elon Musk, his character is being questioned. Can you really run three companies? Tesla stock has taken a hit, but guess what he reported? More Teslas today are being manufactured than any other time in Tesla's history. So with all the naysayers, you know what Elon Musk fires back with? What are you talking about? We're producing more cars ever than the history of Tesla has ever done before. Sit down, boy. That's what, they, that's what he just said. Facts, baby. That's numbers. So, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. My hope and my hope and wish to you guys is that your life will change by the difference you make on your evenings and weekends. That you make a difference in your personal life. It's okay to be selfish in the beginning. So, therefore, you can be a bigger giver tomorrow. Because you can't give what you ain't got. If you're going to be giving, give encouragement. If you're going to be giving, give praise. If you're going to be giving... Give support. Give. Don't manipulate. Right? And if you're wondering why so many people are, are uh, displaying such manipulative behavior around you, it's because you allow them to give you shit when you should be refusing that. Like, like anytime somebody comes around me and they're, they're dropping dimes on somebody else, here's, here's another thing too. Anytime I hang around somebody, especially somebody new that's, that, that's, that's getting to know me, I think I'm giving away my secrets off. <laughs> but somebody that hangs around me that's starting to get to know me, and they start dropping dimes about their wife, about their husband, about their marriage, about their current situation, about their problems, and, right? And we're like building a relationship. And I tend to stay away, stand, uh, uh, tend to stay away from that type of person because they manipulated themselves in a frame of thinking that they can't do anything about it. And yet, we as human beings, in the greatest country in the in, a, in the world, in the strongest country, strongest economy, strongest military in the world, we have control to do something about it. We can do something about it. Don't manipulate yourself yeah, into limited sure thinking. Yeah. So we're here back at the office. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you shared this. Love you guys. And uh, let me know what you guys think about playing offense for the rest of 2018 by avoiding manipulation. That being said, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like our page. If you're watching this replay on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and you hit notification squad. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you like our page. If you find me on Instagram and Snapchat, you can find me at Money Smart Guy. Again, this is Matt Sapala, commonly known as Money Smart Guy, co-owner 
Chairman's Council, Million Dollar Earner of PHP Agency, looking here to teach others how to do the same. Drop us a comment, let me us know what you're thinking. Here's Cesar Garcia, Granados. What's up? Making it happen. Appreciate you guys. Till we meet again. Continue to live smart. Continue to love smart. Be money smart today. today.